Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Julie Scott with Child Care Aware of Eastern Kansas. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. And you guys have a fun event coming up that I think it, always exciting to hear about reading kind of events. The Roll and Read coming up on April 13th. Yes, April 13th, um, parents and teachers <clears throat> throw this amazing event for families, especially with young children. It's just a great time to get out, do some reading and get some physical exercise at the same time. All right, so how exactly does this work? Well, um, it's kind of neat because it brings two areas of Topeka together. We have um, downtown just filled with all kinds of reading stations where you can walk around and go to each station where people will read different books, different <gasps> activities. Wow. And then um, in the Noto district as well, they have the same thing. You can walk down Noto to each new station and have somebody read you a book, maybe do a craft. And you don't have to drive. You don't have to drive. You have there, there is shuttles. You can go back and forth to each side. It's um, really convenient for families. It's, you know, spaced around, walking around, enjoying each other. And the best part, I think, is the stroller um, decorating contest and the parade. That's always really fun to see what the kids get to do because, you know, they get to decorate their own strollers. <laughs> Fun. Oh my gosh. I bet there's some really wild, fantastic creative decorations. Yes, it gets pretty <laughs> neat. You said, yeah, you, you, I think we mentioned this. This is the third year you've done it so far, right? right. So have you done like the stroller decorations in the past? Yes. How has that gone before? The kids just go <clears throat> crazy with the balloons and the streamers. And sometimes, you know, parents even get a little more wild and let their kids dress up as superheroes. It's just. Why a, not? It's, it's <laughs> kind of like the kickoff for spring. You know, everybody gets to go outside and enjoy the sunshine and just enjoy each other. And the really neat thing is, is this is like the end of the National Week of the Young Child. So just kind of gives a final send off of fun things you can do with your kids that is also educational and get them boosted and ready to go. I love it. It's like one citywide story time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's like a fairy tale. Oh, that's so fun. So there are going to be booths as well? Yes, there will be vendors and booths and all kinds of different activities, um, especially Evergy Plaza. Um, there will be games set out for kids to play. It's completely free for um, families. There's even free food as well. So really, it's just, why not? You, you got free entertainment, feed your kids, and then send them home for a nap afterwards and enjoy the rest of your day. Wow. <laughs> what time does everything start? It starts at 10 a.m., perfect time, um, and then goes till 1 p.m. So really just the, enough time to let the kids enjoy themselves and then, you know, go do something else with your Saturday. <laughs> exactly. I, it sounds so much fun. How many uh, reading stations are there going to be? Is it kind of just kind of going throughout the day or just yeah. kind of pop in, pop out? It, there's really no time set. Just, you know, pocket parks throughout the area and the, um, people will read books and then once they're done a new group can come in and sit down and read another book so there's really no schedule you just kind of go and see what's going on and when your little one hears a story they want to hear they can sit down and enjoy and if they get tired of listening to that story on to the next station and I know a lot of the stores too in the areas have themes going on and they'll be open as well so you can go inside and see what they got going on and activities as well oh fun. so much fun yeah. I don't have to pop down there. Good, yeah. clean family fun. Well, you're you're just like a young child as well. Oh uh, yeah. Just, yes, 100% just like. I might just bring my own book and start reading to people. Who you knows? know, why not? Bring your guitar too, and you can start singing along. <laughs> that we might have trouble with, but we can read books. Yes. Uh, um, also, you know, uh, a pickleball tournament is coming up as well for you guys. Yes. I know we talked a little bit about it before, but remind everybody what's all going on for you. Yes, uh, on May 4th, we have a wonderful new fundraiser popping out, uh, pickleball tournament, dink and volley for uh, child care. It's just going to be a fun event for everybody to get out, have some more physical activity, play like a child, raise some money. And we just opened it up for um, 16 and older. So if you have some teenagers, too, that want to join in on the fun, do some teams and uh, get some competition out and raise some money for child care. Wonderful. Where can people sign up? They can sign up online. You can find information on our website, on our social media pages, um, and also the main registration is on Eventbrite. 
Okay, right. wonderful. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. I can't wait to chat a li little bit more about the pickleball coming up here soon. Yes. Looking forward to it. All right, Julie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And of course, everybody, to learn more, you can visit east.ks.childcareaware.org.